may be Russia's Su-57s and USA's F-35s are turning heads at the Aero India 2025. But India is no less. Indian Air Force is soaring high in the skies with a series of cutting-edge, indigenously developed aircraft and defence systems that showcase the nation's relentless march towards self-reliance. With homegrown invention at its heart, these military aircraft represent bold leap forward in India's aerospace capabilities, all designed and developed by the country's defence giants like the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, better known as HAL, and the DRDO, that is the Defence Research and Development Organisation. From fighter jets to helicopters and trainers, let's take a closer look at the Indian Air Force's stunning fleet on display at Aero India 2025 in Yelahanka Air Base of Bengaluru. Leading the charge in India's defence self-reliance is the Hal Tejas LCA MK1A, which is a lightweight, multi-role fighter that's a true testament to the nation's growing aerospace prowess. A state-of-the-art upgrade of the Tejas MK-1, the MK-1A is a highly capable jet built to take on air superiority, ground attacks and reconnaissance missions. What's even more impressive is the jet's indigenization. Over 50% of its components, including the airframe, avionics and the flight control systems, are proudly designed and manufactured in India. This is with alignment of the government's Make in India initiative. This aircraft isn't just about firepower, it's packed with advanced avionics, a radar and weapon systems, making it a game-changer for the Indian Air Force, that's the IAF. Whether it's protecting the skies or executing complex missions on the ground, the Tejas MK-1A is a shining example of India's self-reliance and technological evolution in aerospace. Next up is a Sukhoi 30 MKI, which is a cornerstone of the IAF's combat fleet. This multi-role air superiority fighter, although originally Russian-designed, has been given a distinctly Indian touch with Hull's integration of local systems and weapons. Known for its agility, long-range strike capabilities and versatility, the Su-30 MKI excels in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. A crucial part of the aircraft's success is the inclusion of indigenously developed systems like the Astra air-to-air -air missile and the Brahmos A supersonic cruise missile, which is a game-changer in anti-ship warfare. With over 30 years of operational service, the aircraft's combination of raw power and technological sophistication makes it a formidable opponent in the skies, while also highlighting India's ability to adapt and enhance foreign platforms with cutting-edge homegrown technologies. If you've ever watched a breathtaking air show featuring synchronized jets performing daring maneuvers, you have likely seen the Surya Kiran Acrobatic Team, also known as the SCAT, in action. Formed in 1996, this elite team is known for its jaw-dropping formations, rolls and loops, with the Flying Hawk MK-132 advanced jet trainers painted in the vibrant colours of the Indian flag, the Surya Kiran team epitomises precision, skill and patriotism. Their high-speed, low-altitude aerobatics are a symbol of India's commitment to excellence in aviation. Whether at home during the Republic Day celebrations or abroad at international air shows, the team's performance leaves audiences in awe and instills a sense of national pride. Now let's turn our attention to helicopters. HAL's light utility helicopter is an outstanding achievement in India's journey towards self-sufficiency in defence aviation. This versatile lightweight helicopter is designed to replace the aging fleet of the Cheetah and Chetak helicopters used by the Indian Armed Forces. Ideal for roles like reconnaissance, a troop transport and casualty evacuation, the LUH is perfect for operations in tough terrains like the Himalayas. One of the highlights of the LUH is its remarkable level of indigenization. Over 60% of its components, including the airframe, rotors and avionics, are made in India. 
powered by the Shakti engine co-developed by Hal and Francis Safran, the LUH ensures unmatched performance in high altitude conditions, making it a crucial asset for India's defence forces. Training the next generation of fighter pilots, the Intermediate Jet Trainer, also known as the IJT, and of course known as the HJD-36 Sitara, plays a pivotal role in transitioning pilots from basic trainers to advanced fighter jets. Developed by HAL, this aircraft fills the gap between the basic trainers like the Kiran and the powerful Sukhoi-30 or Tejas. Over 70% of IJT's components, including its avionics and flight control systems, are indigenously developed, demonstrating India's growing capabilities in aviation design. The IJT features a glass cockpit, advanced navigation systems and a digital fly-by-wire system, making it a crucial part of India's Air Force training program and showcasing the country's technical advancements in aerospace. When it comes to primary flight training, Hull's HTT-40 is the ultimate platform designed to meet the Indian Air Force's need for versatile, cost-effective trainer. The HTT-40 ensures future pilots are well prepared for challenges of flying advanced fighter jets and transport aircraft. With over 80% of its components indigenously designed, including the airframe, avionics and landing gear, the HTT-40 is a perfect example of India's growing self-reliance. This trainer is powered by Honeywell turboprep engine, but Hull has also integrated locally developed systems to enhance its capabilities. From primary flight training to aerobatics, the HTT-40 stands as a reliable homegrown solution for India's aviation needs. The Hull Hansa NG, which is the next generation trainer aircraft, takes flight training to new heights. Designed by the National Aeronautical Laboratories, that is the NAL, this two-seater aircraft is an upgrade of the original Hansa 3 and offers an ideal platform for basic flight training, recreational flying and even glider towing. The Hansa NG stands out due to its indigenization. Over 70% of its components are made in India, including its advanced avionics and glass cockpit systems. Equipped with the Rotax 912 ISC engine, the Hansa NG combines global standards with local innovation, making it an essential tool for training India's future pilots. Rounding out India's aerospace advancements is the Dornier 228 testbed, which is a modified version of the Dornier 228 aircraft developed by HAL for the DRDO. This flying laboratory is designed to test and validate indigenous airspace technologies, including radar systems, electronic warfare suites, and advanced communication systems. With its extensive modifications, the Dornier 228 testbed plays a crucial role in accelerating the development and certification of new defense and civilian technologies as well. In true spirit of the indigenization, while the Dornier 228's airframe is of German origin, it's equipped with India-made systems reinforcing the country's self-reliance in the field of aerospace innovation. India's defence and aerospace industry is soaring to new heights with each passing year thanks to these groundbreaking aircraft and systems. From fighter jets and helicopters to advanced trainers and flying laboratories, each one represents a crucial step towards a future where India not only strengthens its own defence capabilities but also becomes a leader in global aerospace technology. Here, the sky is indeed the limit. For all updates on Aero India 2025, stay tuned to the official YouTube channel of the Indian Express.